Oh, lean all the way in. This is a very important conversation. There is a big focus right now on addressing the disparities that black moms and babies these days have to deal with when it comes to health care. So here with us now in studio is Carly Austin, a maternal infant health policy specialist for the Michigan Hospital Association and a PhD student at Wayne State University focusing on addressing disparities for black moms and babies at a systemic level. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Uh, first, let's just let's talk about the issue. Why is it that there is a, such a, a gap between um, information and I guess the way that moms feel like they're being heard, being treated when it comes to health care? So I think it's clear to say, um, it is very important to say that this didn't just occur today. Mm -hmm. like it didn't start in 2018, 2019. There have been decades of systemic inequities that have sort of perpetuated itself from a systematic standpoint. I think the difference now is that we're more um, intentional about having tougher conversations and about getting that information out. I think the gap still it's still there, similar to a lot of the other things that are tough. People are uncomfortable having tough conversations. And so when you don't have a safe space, whether that's for, for a person, for a provider, or for an institution, some of those gaps in communications um, right. are perpetuated. When you say systemic inequities, can we be specific about what we're talking about? Because to the black women who are affected by this, it probably feels normal. This is how they've always been treated at the doctor, so they don't know that other people are being treated differently. What are some things uh, that are happening to women where they can now say, oh, that's, I've experienced that? For sure. So I think that when I'm saying systemic, I'm talking about a structure of healthcare, mm -hmm. something that's built on. So you have two things happening. So when I'm talking about structure, I'm talking about allocation of resources. So when you go into um, communities that are predominantly serving people of color, specifically mm -hmm. moms of color, mm -hmm. do they have lactation consultants? Do they have case management available to them? Do they have specific services for their diversification of needs, like mm -hmm. doulas, midwives? Um, are you able to birth in a way that's comfortable for you? You. Mm -hmm. Are you able to have um, different resources like for, for breastfeeding, mm -hmm. um, which is sometimes the norm at institutions that predominantly service white mothers. Mm -hmm. And that is something that is not necessarily the norm for mm -hmm. the institutions that are predominantly serving black mothers. So that I mean, that's what I mean by a structure, mm -hmm. allocation of resources. And that's something everyone should have access to? That's not something that should only be available to people who have more money? Exactly. Mm -hmm. That should be our just right for health care for everyone. Okay. Um, when, I, when you're thinking about like why aren't we being heard necessarily mm -hmm. from an interpersonal relationship, mm -hmm. that's where you're having conversations about like biases, implicit and explicit racism. And so the difference is in that is if I say something and you invalidate it, or if I say something and it's not acknowledged, then that's that's not normal. Mm -hmm. You know, if I say I feel pain and you say and you normalize that pain by saying, well all moms have pain, that's not normal. Yeah. Um, what you say and what your concerns are should be seen as an integral part of your care plan. And that's what black moms and that's what we would want black moms to know that's the norm. I'm hoping I can steal just a little bit more time producers. Uh, I, I, so the question twofold because I want to make sure that we have time to get to the event of course um, but uh, to really bring it home to people um, there was uh, on one of these reality shows um, a doctor who was on camera in a meeting and said you know black women exaggerate the pain that they're feeling um, when they're going into labor and so that makes it difficult for doctors to know when to treat and when not to treat that's the kind of toxic you know thinking that we're thinking about this is a black doctor who said this so where does this school of thought come from right so I think the school of thought comes from what was historically taught in medical schools which is that black people don't feel pain the same, they have thicker skin. Mm -hmm. um, that is untrue. What right. we know is very untrue. Um, but, um, for anyone, pain is subjective. Right, so it's yeah. not hard to treat pain if you listen to people and you believe that they're in pain. Okay, um, tell that, me about the event. <laughs> so the event, yes. So DMC, I mean, we're very, very committed to talking about all of the things that you're discussing right now, but not just bringing awareness to them, but through action. So the event is tomorrow. Again, it is a Black Maternal Health Week, so we're focused on Black moms and centering their voices as a part of solutions. The event is from two to five. The first part of the event is specifically on DMC. What, we're, what are we doing from quality improvement? And then the second session is for us to talk about like it takes a village. What are mm -hmm. our collaborative efforts with the community? And our third session is very intentional. What do black moms need? What are they feeling? What are they hearing that they need to get out to us as
providers, clinicians, leaders of health yeah. systems, so that, that they can be a part of that. Something that's available for the moms. Well, they will have the opportunity to just speak and be heard. Yes, and we are listening. Carly, thank you. You are very so welcome. So much for coming in. They're saying we have to go. We'll put this on our website also. Yes, Fox there should be a QR right? code, Back right? Home. Yes, a QR code, what, for people to register? It is a free event, light refreshments, free parking. Um, there we go. It's all about you. We'll get you that information. Quick break, we'll be right back.